Hi beautiful, welcome to another Cheap Monday video. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for my anniversary date night. The fun thing about this tutorial is that it's all affordable makeup, which I was super excited to create this super glam look for you guys. Using affordable products, this is what Cheap Monday is all about. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then just keep on watching. So you guys already know that I love the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. It is just so amazing and it lasts all day long. It is definitely one of my favorites from the drugstore. I am in the shade 356 Warm Coconut for this foundation and it's just it's amazing. I did go ahead and conceal my under eye area using this Wet n Wild concealer. I did use two shades in this concealer since I don't have a perfect shade for brightening. I do use one that's pretty light and then I kind of mix it in with a deeper shade to create the perfect combination for myself. I love this concealer. Why is there a fly in front of me? Why is there a fly? <laughs> I am using the Morphe sponge to blend in the concealer and I love this sponge. It is so amazing. There are a couple different shapes to this sponge but this one is definitely my favorite. So to set my under eye, I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Medium Deep. I love this powder and what I really appreciate is that there are a few shades to choose from. It really works well under the eye. It sets everything. It keeps it nice and matte. It helps my concealer from creasing too much and it does help my makeup stay on longer. So it's definitely a win anyhow. I'm just going to be dusting off the powder and I am using this brush from... Andrea Renee's collection. She did create a collection with peach and pearl and I love this powder brush so much. It is definitely my favorite powder brush. I love the shape of it because it is rounded and fluffy at the same time. The Black Radiance Contour Kit is definitely a drugstore staple if you're a deeper skin tone. It is amazing to contour so that's what I use today to add my powder contour to my face. I actually didn't use any liquid contour today. I wanted to just stick with powder and that's what I used for that step. This Makeup Geek brush is so amazing, you guys. I absolutely love it to contour my nose. It's just the perfect fluff and shape and size. It's just amazing. So I will definitely link that below. If you guys didn't know, I do have a Makeup Geek VIP page, which I'm super excited about. I don't think I really talk much about it, but and I will link that below as well so you guys can check that out. You also do get 10% uh, off Makeup Geek products with my code which is jasmine and that's just amazing because <laughs> so to fill in my brows today i decided to use the nyx gel brow filler is it a gel what is this called i love this brow filler the color is perfect i squeeze it out to my hand usually and just work off the back of my hand with this angled brush and i apply little strokes to my brows to make it look more natural i didn't go too overboard today i just wanted to keep it super natural i did get my brows waxed a couple days ago no it's probably like a week now and I really love the way it looks they're a lot slimmer which I have been feeling like lately for this look I decided to use a blush that I actually usually use as a bronzer and it's from LA colors and it's in the color psych so I did order it online I'm not sure if it's available in stores because I've never seen it in stores but I really really love it and I use it today as a blush bronzer co uh, combination so I do have it on my cheekbones as a blush and you guys can see this color is beautiful I love it love it love it I decided to do something a little bit different today and I used my contour powder to add into my crease I didn't want to do too much of an eye look or make it too like serious I just wanted to be really casual and fun so I am applying my contour shade to the crease of my eyes it's just give me a nice sultry look it is going to deepen up your eyes make it look very sultry very satisfying you know it's <laughs> and um but just evenly blend that out into your eyes into your crease and you just get this beautiful sultry look your contour shade is perfect because it's not too much deeper than your skin tone but it is deep enough to create that beautiful sultriness that you're looking for so to add a little bit of extra definition i decided to go ahead and use the nyx jumbo pencil in black bean to line my waterline this is a black eyeliner and it's super thick i just add a swipe of it and then i go in with a deep brown shadow and blend that in to create the sultriness to add a little bit more sultriness the deeper the color is the more sultry and this look is perfect against brown eyes because it really does pull out the browns you have those beautiful browns the warm browns are really gonna work nicely against brown eyes and when you add in the really dark black right on the waterline it just makes your eyes pop out so much more because the black against the brown just really adds that contrast going back into the brown under it's just a beautiful situation it's just beautiful. Just, just take it 
I am going to be using a fluffy brush to add some of Escape from the BH Cosmetics palette once again to fluff out and blend the under portion of my eyes to just add to the sultriness of this entire eye look. So for my top lash line, I did add some more of Black Bean to really help deepen and create extra darkness up there it just helps your lashes just look a lot more fuller it just really brings in more of the sultriness to your eyes and I did go ahead and blend that out once again with the deep brown shade just to help it smoke out just a little bit just a little bit of you know pizzazz is that even pizzazz is that's not pizzazz it's like a little bit of <laughs> the theme of this look is just sultry like that's the theme of this entire look sultry sexy sultry sexy how about that sexy <laughs> let's go with that one i am going to be using a lash primer today this one is from covergirl i really love it it's one of the only lash primers i use but i'm going to add this to my bottom and top lashes just to add some extraness to them alone my lashes can get very lost when i have a dark black eyeliner or just darkness under there because my lashes are not super super long but when I add the lash primer they, it does really help them stand out more and just show up and you know they're ready to party okay so I'm gonna be using the makeup Shayla and Colourpop highlighter I love that thing it is so amazing you guys I am adding it to my cheekbones guys this is my favorite highlighter from Colourpop It's definitely one of my favorite drugstore highlighters I did take the highlight into my inner corner of my eyes to add a little bit of a pop there. I always do this. I feel like without adding that inner corner pop, my eye look is just never complete. So I am using the ColourPop liner in pitch to line my lips. I love this color. It is very dark. It reminds me of Max Chestnut liner. So it's a more affordable version of that, uh, that lip liner. I am also going to be lining them again with a CoverGirl liner. I'm using this because I am going on a date night and I, wanna, I want my lips to last as long as possible because I am going to be eating and, you know, hmm, I don't know what else to do. I'm also going to be adding a ColourPop Demi Matte Lipstick in the color Trendin'. It is definitely trending. This is definitely a trending color. I see no lie. I'm going to be topping that with the lip gloss from Black Radiance. And it's just going to add glossiness to the look. I love a glossy lip. A juicy glossy lip is one of my favorite parts of makeup. I just love that look. It's just complete to me. Like the inner corner highlight, the glossy gloss is just... I'm done! <laughs> For lashes, I'm going to be adding the CoverGirl Lash Blash Mascara with Avocado Infused in there. <laughs> they sent me the coolest pure package, by the way. And I'm just going to show you guys because it's so cool. It is, look, look, look at this. It's tropical vibes, you guys. Like, I almost wish I could keep this for decoration purposes, but look at how beautiful this is. It had an avocado in there. It came with National Avocado Day. And the mascara is infused with avocado. The primer is infused with um papaya is this the papaya what is this yes it is the papaya okay i'm not gonna get my creeping card revoked not today sir not today to finish off the look i am gonna be adding some satin spray from covergirl and then i'm gonna go ahead and add some lashes on i love these lashes they are from my beauty supply store i am so obsessed with this new brand they brought to the beauty supply store because these lashes i've been using them in my cheap monday videos and they're so amazing i'm gonna go back on monday to restock because they were just really amazing so this is the completed look you guys with lashes and everything on i love it it is perfect show you guys my accessories that i am wearing just so you guys can you know know what i am i have going on here these are just gold hoop earrings which i love they're super thin and light so i love wearing them they're easy to just have on and i don't have to worry about them being too heavy when i want to go out for a long period of time i love using these and they're just perfect i have these little studs which i did get at the nordstrom anniversary sale they're still on sale right now i believe they were 29 dollars, but they last really long and i love them this necklace is also from nordstrom it is from bobble bar it is part of the anniversary sale as well which i believe ends yesterday you can still probably get it but it's from bobble bar and i love it it's a script lowercase j i have an obsession with lowercase letters i love writing everything in lowercase for some strange reason so when i saw this i knew like it was just we were, it was meant to be <laughs> my bracelet is from louis vuitton and you can get it at the louis vuitton store and this watch is from 
rose fields i really love it i am super into this watch i want some more colors it's just beautiful you can change your strap if you want so it's not super pricey it is actually like i it's cheaper than michael kors it's more money than fossil like right in the middle <laughs> yeah so I love it it's really nice and girly chic I'm just gonna spray some perfume on this one is from Baccarat and I love the smell it smells so amazing you guys I can't I can't with this perfume like I so this is the entire look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video if you did enjoy don't forget give me a thumbs up comment down below share this video and I'll see you guys in my next video 